Dank made a great documentary, but let me explain something to you. How I got on YouTube. It's very simple. When I first came on YouTube, I started making outdoor videos like uh, Survivor Man. I had a bunch of like Survivor Man videos up and uh, Brett Farr videos. They were just random videos. Uh, I, I remember GPK, Garbage Patch Kids, even trolled me uh, when I first came on. They made a song that made me look like a pre uh, pedophile when I was driving my car. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. They were from uh, Trash Talk Circle TC. But anyway, that's when I got on YouTube. And then, one day I was looking up a video um, about glitching in um, Resistance Fall of Man. Because I did, I love Resistance Fall of Man. I looked it up and I don't know, I seen these nerds in the comment section. They were arguing. I made a comment. And, and it was weird, right? Boom, like a minute later. I, this is when I first got the computer. In 2008 I got a computer. It took me a month to figure out how to get my videos from my camera onto my video. And it took me so long. I didn't know how to do nothing. But anyway, someone commented back. And we started arguing about the PS3 and Xbox, whatever. So I says, I don't want to type. I'm not one of them typists. I'm going to make a fucking video. I'm going to fuck with these clowns. So I made a video Xbox. <laughs> Xbox 360 sucks. His friend. I remember that video. It was weird because I made it. And then the reaction was good. And I seen a bunch of people like started uh, worshiping me. It seemed like, like I was like a savior. So I kept doing it. And during the time I had the trade brotherhood, I just started making all kinds of shit. There was a dude, uh, Levy. I forget his name. Levy something. Jeevy. Jeevy. He used to make great videos on me. I mean, real good videos. They were like epic, like movies. But anyway, they were like movie trailers. But then I, I, I had that going. And the whole time, I was, I was in a game. I played games. I was in the uh, resistance big time. And then, uh, I really love football, and that's why I had the PS3. I had an Xbox, but I had a PS3 because you could play 2K4 on it. But uh, I kept playing it, and then uh, Modern Warfare came out, and all this stuff I got. Oh, and then I was, here's what happened. I was just making the Trey Brotherhood videos, and I kept doing that. And I was kind of, I'm not going to lie to you, I was doing that for a couple years. And I got bored doing that. It was like to the point where I kept going through like Hooge, all these nerds. And I, was, I just got bored with it. And then Fisico said, man, you can make money Call of Duty. I'm like, really? So I, I started uh, playing Call of Duty. I started uploading whatever on YouTube. And uh, I remember, uh, I think the first video I made had like uh, 900,000 views. It just kept going. About 600,000 in like a couple of days. And it ended up like a million, 900,000, whatever. But then I just, uh, I kept doing it. And there I was in the Call of Duty gaming community. Not even a good player. But I was like a... I was, I was actually the best at the craft. Out of all the commentators, let's call Spade a Spade. I was the best at it. Everybody else was just bland nerds. I had my own way of doing it. I, I, I don't know if I created the, the Rage Gamer. I don't know. Maybe I didn't, but that's just how the fuck I was. And people think that was all. People think them Rages, a lot of people think them Rages are fake. Like, oh, uh, he faked it. No, they weren't. Now, there were times I, I did force myself to upload Call of Duty in the last year or so because I just got bored playing the game. I don't even play video games no more. I have no desire to. I did get into a Fortnite uh, kick a couple of, maybe last year. But I did force myself. But I never faked the rage. Never. There are a lot of commenters I couldn't even post up. But I never faked the rage. I was not one of the people that fake. I don't fake things. But I did force a lot of uploads later on in my uh, Call of Duty career. What happened with the Xbox uh, and the PS3 thing... I started looking at these, I, I, what I do, I think I bought a, something happened, I had an Xbox or something, Modern Warfare, I think I had Modern Warfare 2 for the Xbox, and I seen all these nerds getting sensitive, I'm talking, I remember this one clown, Shiesty's World, right, and he's probably still watching, some nerd Shiesty's World, and I can picture this dude, he's probably 35, 40, like my age at the time, and he was literally crying because I was playing on the Xbox, he's a grown man. Just like Hooge, grown men. These cats were literally crying over it. Hey, I remember Hooge would message me at night and say, Yo, dude, man, what do you want me to do? But he, it was like I was giving him instructions. He was like a puppet to me. He's like, Hey, bro, look at this video I made on MLD. It was so embarrassing. It was just, it was so fucking. I wish to God that I can go back in time and just go back to that. I'll be honest with you. YouTube was the best. 
in that era when I was in that nerd soul war, that was the best. Because I'd be at work and I'd be sitting there thinking of it. That was the best. That was fun. I'd be, I'm not going to lie to you. I'd be on my computer. I'd come home. I'd sit in that fucking chair and I'd be on all night. That's the type of life I had. No life. I'd be on that computer all night. Just, I loved YouTube back then. It was fun as fuck. Console War was the best. I'd say about 2009 to about 2011 was the funnest time on YouTube. And when I got in the call to do that, I started making good money. Real good money. And I could have made a lot more. But what I did is, uh, I think the most money I made in one month was eight grand. That was good money. But then it just started going, then one year, it just started going down, down and drastically. And I said, oh, this ain't going to work. I thought, I honestly, this is how fucked up my mind is. All right. I honestly thought at that time in 2013, because my schedule would be, I'd wake up on a Monday morning. So I quit my job. I wake up Monday morning. I'd play one hour at like eight o'clock at Call of Duty. I'd get six or seven uploads, whatever I played because of live commentary. And I'd be done for the week. That was my job. And I honestly thought my, my life would, I never had to work again. I thought, this is it. I'll never have to work again. I'm going to make, I thought I'd make that money every week. That's what I thought. I thought that, but it didn't work out that way. So, uh, and I'll be honest with you, right now I'm kind of bored with YouTube. I'm very bored with it. I used to love Twitter too, I'm not going to lie to you. But the, the, the whole gist of the thing is, I was never on Vine at first. I was on YouTube and I was making Survivor Man, Brett Favre, just random videos. And I got in a nerd so war from that, um, I was, uh, and I made a comment in a, in a glitch video. I was trying to find out a glitch in Resistance Fall Man. And then, um, I got suspended multiple times. I probably had 100 accounts. Man, there's so many wars with these nerds. And uh, what was I going to say? Fuck, I lost my train of thought. But, uh, and then, and then I, there was a video, there was a website called Telly or TwitVid. And I had a ton of videos on there. And I wish I could still, I wish I still had them. Those are my best videos. People don't understand. You can't find them videos anyway. They took the website down, those videos all But that was my, because it was like when I'd be on my phone, I'd just make random videos. They were the best. And, um, my hardcore followers, I had a hundred, probably a hundred uh, Twitter accounts. I'm not on Twitter anymore. I've been on for two or three years. And I'll be honest with you. I used to have fun on Twitter. It was fun as hell. But then it just started getting to the point where, every like everything else, they censor everything. It just became boring. It suspended. But yeah, I had Twitter or Tully was the best. It was the best. And then when I went back to work, uh, I just kept making videos, trolling, whatever. And over the course of, uh, like right now, I use a vape pen and I, uh, whatever you call that, marijuana juice. I like that shit. I, I, I was for, I, I was, I go through these fads. I was in that vape juice for like a month straight, just hitting it every night. Now I do it every other night here and there. It's like, I didn't have that yesterday, but I had some today. Um, not under, not now, but I was earlier, but I used to love it. I go through these phases. Oh, the cats. Let me show you how that happened. About five years ago, six, seven years, whatever. I see these cats, the lady was feeding them behind my house to the right. And like a dumbass, I just wanted to, I was like, hmm, what if I fed them, they come over. So it was like a thing, I wanted to feed them. So that lady, I wanted them to come to my yard. Biggest mistake I ever made, because now, if I didn't have these cats, I'd have a great life. Now it's like these cats are my priority. If I didn't have these cats, my life would be great. I kind of fucked up by getting all these, taking care of these cats. I'm not going to lie, I fucked up. I wish I didn't. I wish I could just go down to two cats. I wish I could. I gotta figure out a way just to keep Mookie and one other cat. That's it. So basically, that's it. I don't even want this chewing back, right? I'm getting nauseous from it. But anyway, I'm gonna spit this out. But that's basically it. So I wasn't on Vine. I was on YouTube first. Vine was like something I did. I never really got it. Well, I was in the Vine a little bit, but I don't know. My account got suspended. No, I never got suspended. It just closed down. So multiple Twitter, Instagram. Oh, I had Instagram, but I really never used it. And, uh, that's it. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. I'm so tired right now. Anyway, that's it.